support local agricultural uh, products and uh, the local farmers. Of course, it's always better to buy local and uh, I try to buy as much from the local farmers as I can. Uh, did a lot that last semester so since I went to go to HPU. We had the farmers market. It was great in the beginning. We had about two or three farmers that supported their own little business and uh, it was great quality of the product. What's your favorite products? Are you more of a vegetable or a kind of a both meat and vegetable kind of guy? I'm both, but I do enjoy getting some good fresh vegetables, uh, especially tomatoes. That's my weakness. I love tomatoes. Well, let me ask you this. Um, given the fact that we get so many products from, from the mainland and around the world, um, you know, the fact that local produce actually does cost a little bit more, does that present a problem to you at all? Or? Like being a college student, price is always a thing we consider. Uh, but I do get the good feeling about buying local, uh, minimizing leakage, trying to keep money here in Hawaii. And just the fact that if you buy local, you don't produce as much uh, carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases. And it's your little way of contributing to the good costs. Where do you seek, uh, your, you know, where do you seek your food? Is it farmers markets or do you go to specialized stores? How do you, how do you find the products? Uh, here it's, I try to do the farmer's market, uh, but it's been more that I've gone to Walmart the past times a safe way, but I always try to get either the uh, ecological or the local grown things. Um, but back home in Sweden I try to go to uh, the small shops that only do vegetables and try to get meat that are produced locally uh, just to keep the greenhouses down. Do you think there's enough restaurants that serve uh, local food? Or do you, should there be more? Or? I think we're uh, not really 50-50, but we're getting close to it. And I think it's a big trend that there's more local being considered in because that's what we want more now as the customer. And just that cause is very important for all restaurant owners and hotels to just keep it local to keep their customers happy. You know, there's been an emphasis from the state and the city about trying to make sure that Hawaii is self-sustaining and the importance of having and preserving uh, agricultural land, uh, particularly in times of disaster. Yet we see housing developments kind of spring up all over the place. And just wonder if you had any thoughts about that. I, it's a mixed feeling because uh, tourism is the biggest industry in Hawaii. So we need more development in certain areas. But keeping the uh, North Shore and those small communities as they are is very important too because that will bring out the people out there as it is. We don't need to build big cities or larger communities than they already are up there or on the big other islands because that's their uniqueness. That's what's going to bring the people out there. The first comers will be going to Honolulu and Waikiki, but third, fourth comers, they want to see something else. So they will go and seek take their trip up to North Shore, stay there instead of being in Waikiki. And making sure that we keep it very local and agricultural neutral uh, is the biggest thing we can do and keep the Hawaii safe. Have you been paying attention in recent articles in the newspaper and on radio, unfortunately regarding what's called rat lung worm disease? Have you seen anything about that and how it's affecting some of our local local produce I have not heard about that yeah no okay well it's not a pleasant subject so we'll leave that for another day so Walter I want to thank you very much for speaking with us today I'm Tim Apicella this is Think Tech Hawaii